I'll also, any questions, anything you guys want to ask me, hit me on Twitter, at LocoBoof, with two Fs on Twitter. So, at L-O-C-O-B-O-O-F-F on Twitter. Hit me there. I'll answer any questions. It's a lot easier for me to get back to you and reply via Twitter than it is leaving messages and stuff on YouTube. Because what happens on YouTube is uh, I'm always on the go. I try to reply back via my cell phone, and it's difficult to answer and reply. They don't make it very easy uh, for you to do that via YouTube from a cell phone. Anyways, Twitter. And yeah. Hey, what up, guys? Today I'm going to be replacing the standard hard drive inside my computer. Uh, with the new Samsung uh, SSD drive. These are SSD stands for solid state drive and what that means is basically there's no moving parts. The hard drives that are in your computers now or laptops now are uh, HDDs which are hard disk drives and there's, there's a disk in there that's spinning. Anyways, uh, as you both know, as we all know, over time what happens is that will degrade and it gets slower and slower and it takes your computer longer to open up programs, takes longer to speed up, and to fix that, you just get new hard drives. Um, this is the best of the best. This is a 500 gigabyte one I have here, then I also have a 120 that I'm gonna put in my netbook that I use all the time. And uh, yeah, I got two of them here. Eventually I'll end up replacing them in every laptop and computer in the house, uh, but right now I'm gonna do this. So it's a very, very simple process. You have the hard drive, and inside your computer is the old hard drive. And all you do is install some software on your computer. Then you hook this up via USB with a USB to serial ATA cable. And then um, you install the software, you connect the new hard drive via USB, you run the software, and it will clone, which means it'll copy your C drive. All that information, it'll write it onto here. Once that's done, all you do is power down the computer and simply swap the hard drives. Now you put in the new one, take out the old one, and that's it. Keep the old one as a backup or do whatever you want with it, and then this one will go in and it's 20 times faster. Your computer will start up like it's nothing, like it'll be like the day you first bought it. And that's great that there's no disk to spin around and around, and it's quiet, you don't hear anything, it's, it's awesome. Uh, this 500 gigabyte one, I believe, is $199 on Amazon. Sometimes you can catch them on sale a little cheaper. This 120 gigabyte one, I believe, this is $99, but it was on sale for $54 on Amazon when I get. Uh, it just depends on the prices that they got going on. They fluctuate. Sometimes you can catch it on sale. Some, some, sometimes it's not on sale at all. But either way, it's worth it. You know, you figure this hard drive will easily last another five, ten years, so probably the life of the computer. So my computer here is five years old, but with this, I mean, it's running like new. So, and these have the new uh, 3D VNAN chip technology. I have no idea what that is. I don't care. I just know this is the best of the best. If you look on Amazon and read the reviews, they're outstanding, outstanding reviews. And uh, I even tried a different company, a little cheaper, just to save money, just to see. And I noticed the difference from the Samsung from the other company. So I would say it's worth the extra amount of money. Uh, you know, SSDs have come way down in price. But I would say if you just want to preserve the life of your computer or it's really slow and you just want to speed it up, get one of these. If you're worried about more storage, uh, you can put that stuff on an external drive. You know, but as far as just the main... Um, the main engine, if you will, for your computer for it starting up, shutting down, and to have that uh, speed back, I would recommend one of these. Okay, so we'll get into the process. It's real easy. A trained monkey can do it. And uh, that is it. Okay, so here it is. The Samsung SSD850 Evo with the new uh, 3D VNAN chip technology. And uh, I got the 500 gigabyte one here. And uh, I'm using this not as a uh, main drive for storage, but this one is just going to be basically dedicated to my OS, my operating system. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. See all the mumbo jumbo here. All right, but yeah, let's open it up, see what it looks like. It's amazing how far uh, hard drives have come as far as uh, size. It's crazy. I mean, look at this. Look how small that is. I mean, that's, that's nothing. 
Wow. So uh, here's where your SATA cable goes, and then I'm guessing that'll be for power right there. But look how small this is. Like I have a mouse, and look how big it is compared to a mouse. Look how thin it is. It's like the size of like maybe as thick as like two crackers. And I can tell you it's light. Okay. So, let's see what else it comes with. Okay, it comes with the Samsung uh, SSD migration software. The hard drive. Solid state drive. And it looks like the uh, instruction manual and probably warranty information and how to install it. Okay, not bad. Okay, and uh, here is the two and a half inch to three and a half inch um, SSD bracket. You see the four screw holes located here. One, two, three, four. We'll go to those four screw holes here. You'll take your screws, mount the SSD in there, and then now this will fit in your standard uh, size hard drive bay in your computer and that's how you replace it now this I bought on eBay for one dollar came from China probably took them like two weeks to get it to me obviously Amazon and other places sell it so it's a little more expensive your local store probably has it for anywhere from ten to eighteen dollars but uh, if you don't mind waiting you can order it on Amazon I'll put a link in the notes and uh, you'll need that and you'll also need a SATA to USB adapter and because uh, when you go to install it you're gonna hook this up via SATA with the cable and the power cable that comes in this kit that I have here and then you're gonna plug it into the USB on your computer so you'll cut your computer on as normal you'll plug in the USB you'll see your computer will discover the hard drive then you'll use their migration software. The migration stuff software will clone your C drive and copy it over onto this. When that's done, you power the computer down. Then go ahead and install this in the computer off of the SATA port on your motherboard, extracting the old hard drive, putting this one in its place, and that's it. So that's all you'll need for the install. All right. So a SATA to USB adapter, a bracket, and the hard drive. Okay, now I'm going to hit the power button on my computer. And with my old 750 gigabyte standard uh, HDD hard drive, let's see how long it takes. So I'm hitting power now. Oops, sorry. And it's booting up, it's spinning. Don't get me wrong, it's a great computer but the hard drive has degraded over the years so let's see how long it takes and we'll compare what it looks like now or how fast it how long it takes to boot up now versus when we put in the new hard drive that's a 23 inch monitor that I have right there now it only took about 10 seconds for it to get to the unlock screen the problem is the hard drive in there is still loading and loading and spinning and I, I can hear my hard drive kind of making a small small sound loading up everything so if I were to type in my password right now although it would take me to my desktop if I tried to click on any programs it would still be loading and take it a while you could see the load light on my computer still going and making noise you can hear it if you listen It's still installing, still booting up. If I typed in my password, it wouldn't even take me to my desktop right away. Look at the load light. See that light on the right, the orange one? Still spinning, still loading. And this is a couple minutes into it. You know, when I first got the computer, I swear it would only take like a minute at the most and I'd be at my desktop using programs. Now it's, I'll leave it alone for like five, eight minutes. So when it's fully done loading, then I can go ahead and uh, start using my programs at the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead, let this finish booting up and getting ready for a couple minutes, and then uh, 
I'll get to my desktop and we'll start the migration software. Okay, so uh, also I purchased a, a new SATA 3 uh, cable because I don't know what version the serial ATA, the SATA cable is inside my computer. So I bought a new SATA 3 serial ATA cable. Uh, it's able to transfer up to six gigabytes per second and uh, that's for the new drive just in case because it's capable of doing that with this drive so I don't know if the other cable that I have in my computer is old I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's not a, a new SATA 3 cable so anyways I bought this also it's only a couple dollars at my local electronics store I've mounted the SSD in the bracket that I bought see it's just four screws there and remember to get you a uh, SATA to USB adapter. Uh, the Samsung 840 Evo comes with that cable, but now the 850, it doesn't. So make sure you have that. So you're gonna need a bracket, a new cable, and one of these. So the way this works is you plug this in the wall for power, then it plugs in to this piece right here and then this plugs into your SATA in the back for power in the back of your SATA hard drive and then you take this piece here and it connects into this piece here which allows you to have USB into your computer so you have power and then you have USB to your computer so I'm going to sign into my computer as normal, go to the desktop, then I'm going to install the Samsung migration software. Once that's installed, then I'll connect the drive via USB with this adapter that I have here. The drive will show here and the software will talk me through the rest because I'm not doing a fresh install of Windows 7 or Windows 8. I'm going to clone my current C drive that has Windows 7 and then that way when it clones it to the new hard drive I'll power it down remove the old hard drive and then install this one in the place of the old hard drive and since it cloned everything it'll boot up as normal so that's it so now I'm gonna go to my desktop and install the Samsung solid state drive uh, migration software okay so like I said you install the software uh, the software will prompt you to connect the hard drive via USB with the kit that I showed you that I bought separately and it'll recognize the hard drive and then you hit the button for it to go ahead and clo clone the C drive and then the process starts so it's going ahead and it's writing the C drive all the information it's cloning it it's copying it onto the new SSD because that's going to take place of the HDD my normal hard drive that's in there so we'll see how long that takes and then I'll come back Okay, so the process is complete and it took my computer about four hours, a little under four hours to write about 300 gigs worth of data. Okay, so now I'll shut it down and install the SSD in place of the standard hard drive that was in there. Okay, so I've extracted the hard drive case out of my computer. So I had two drives in there, and this one went in there. The old hard drive was in there like that. So it's just four screws, as you can see the screws holding on the other hard drive that's in there. So I removed that cage. The inside of your computer could look different, but basically you want to take the old hard drive out because it's cloned. And then we're going to put in the SSD. Now remember we bought this bracket. It's so it can go in here. And then you can go ahead and mount it with the four screw holes. So I'll go ahead and slide that in there, put the four screws, line them up, and then we'll attach the uh, SATA cable there. And the one for power will go there. And then that's it. And then it reattach it to your motherboard. That's if you have to even pull it all the way out. But I bought a new cable that's uh, able to transfer six gigabytes per second. And this is a SATA 3 cable. So it's just a newer one. Just in case. Oh, somebody text me. All right, so that's it. Okay, so it's all done. I'll go ahead and cut the computer on now and we'll see just how much quicker it is uh, that the computer turns on. And like, it's amazing. Before it was a good, 
like all in like a good 10 minutes, eight minutes before I was able to use it. Like I'd, I'd get to the login screen, but the computer was not done booting up and getting ready. But uh, now that that's done, let's go ahead and cut it on. I'll cut it on here. Okay, so I just hit the power button and now let's see how long it takes. I mean, already, I'm already there. Yeah, before it was taking a lot longer just to get here. I couldn't believe how, on how uh, the speed difference this this silly thing makes. I mean, now I'm at my desktop and ready to go in under a minute. Under a minute. Like I said, I'll eventually, I'll end up replacing all of them in the house. So now I'm already there. Let me type in my password. You guys don't want to see that. Okay. Then I'll hit enter. Boom. There I am at my desktop. Ready to go. And I don't know if you can see closely, but let me try to get in there. There's no spinning wheel around the mouse. Like I'm able to open up the internet and uh, boom, I'm already up. My desktop's up. I'm ready to go. You know what I mean? So it is that much faster. If you're experiencing slowdowns or you want to upgrade or improve your computer, I highly recommend it. It's great. I love it. And uh, for what it does, it's inexpensive. I would I would recommend probably just getting one for your operating system, um, you know, because they don't have four or five terabyte ones just yet. But uh, to speed up your computer, definitely, definitely. And there you go. I'm all ready to go. All right.